beautiful Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for September 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your personal details. I will never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone asking for any details or masquerading as me, please know that this is fake. Uh, so please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Virgo, this is your monthly reading for September. I'm doing this reading on the 5th of September and it's good right through to the 5th of October, okay? I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome, but it is a pretty jam-packed month in terms of planetary alignment. Now, you should be feeling that influence from the new moon in your sign, which occurred on the 27th of August, and that's all about feeling more productive, getting organized, and really analyzing if our lives are moving in the right direction. And if it's not, setting intentions, creating lists, and getting back on track. Also, you maybe focus a little bit more on diet, exercise routines, and building healthier boundaries, really putting your life under the microscope and renewing and reviewing so that you can come out feeling like a healthier, happy version of yourself, okay? Now, I'd like to say happy birthday to all those wonderful Virgos who've already had a birthday, and for those who have yet to come, um, happy birthday to you also. Now, we do have a clash between Venus, the planet of love, and that erratic planet Uranus, as well as a bit of a standoff between the Sun, the Moon, and Mars. So this month can feel a little bit intense and a little bit pressurized, okay? People pushing your buttons more than usual, uh, things getting on your nerves, and um, feeling a little bit more like disconnecting. Even though it's your birthday month and you know that you're wanting to celebrate it with other people, you may actually feel compelled to go more into hermit mode than ever before, going off grid, that sort of thing, and focusing on yourself, your own needs. Um, but you will come out of that energy as we move throughout the month. Um, and you will connect, of course, to friends and family. Um, but also, this is a time to resolve any problems or any issues that you've been going through. Things start to look a little bit better as we move throughout mid-month. And of course, we do have Mercury in retrograde on the 9th of September, which brings communication issues, um, any electrical or technical issues, misunderstandings, emails going awry, missed phone calls, that sort of thing. Now, retrogrades can also bring people from your past back into your life. So uh, it could be an ex that reaches out, someone perhaps that you don't want to talk to, but it could also be friends that you haven't seen for a while. They want me to go another one for you. Uh, it could be people that you haven't seen for a while that really want to reach out and connect to you. And it's about factoring them into your life um, because you've outgrown certain situations, you've evolved, but it's nice to reconnect if you feel um, that this is an energy that is positive in your life. So watch out for that as we move through that Mercury retrograde. Now we also have the full moon in Pisces, which brings a much calmer energy much more dreamy energy so you're focusing on your goals your dreams accomplishments things that you are hoping to achieve but it's also aligned with that crazy planet of change uranus so if you are dreaming of change then it's very positive but be careful what you wish for because you may get it exactly how you ask for it it's about being direct so if you're asking for something, be very clear that you want it in the way that you're asking for. Because if you like flippantly say in a jokey kind of way, oh yeah, I wish I could have that. 
and then it shows up for you, you may be like, okay, I was hoping it would come in a different form or I didn't really expect it to show up like that. So just be very clear in your intent, okay? Because the universe is not hearing the tone of it, the universe is hearing what you want, the, the change that you want, and it's amplifying it as well, okay? So that's important to, to realize. Now, oh wow, wow, Virgo, you got the best energy of all, okay? Most signs have got like a tower moment. Now, if you know my readings, Wheel of Fortunes, they tend to show up with towers, so let's go on and see what else is coming your way. Um, we got the star. Yeah, they were showing me the star. I do a little meditation before I do your readings and the star was showing up for you heavily. Okay, so that's inspiration, being inspired, new ideas, your brain synapses going crazy, really enjoying, you know, um, any of those ideas and making them financially viable. Um, also, um, oh wow, you've got like major arcanas galore here. Um, I just want you to be aware of... Um, your first house is activated as well during this period. Uh, that's all about your identity, your your image, how you um, connect to yourself and your sense of self, your your ego, you know, the good ego, as it were. It's also about building better self-care routines. So you may be kicking back and relaxing, maybe even booking travel. Yeah, there it is. I could feel that travel energy, the Knight of Wands, um, to have a little getaway by yourself or maybe even getaway with people that you really um, connect to. So I, I actually feel like there's a real positive shift in your frequencies in September and if you've been going through any difficulties know that you find creative solutions and you resolve issues round about mid-month. Now also that seventh house of relationships, partnerships is activated um, so this can be about partnerships at work or business relationships. It could also be about exes or you know current partners. Um, it's all about recalibrating and balancing things out finding um, the balance between work and play. And also, you know, um, some of you may think about partnering up in business with people that you care about, or it can also bring sudden changes to relationships or partnerships, different dynamics. So collectively, we've all got to watch out for that planet Uranus because it can, it can mean that there are shocking changes. Now, every sign, apart from I think Scorpio and you, Virgo, Every other sign has got the tower, which means collectively there is a major change. But being the sign that you are, you tend to always be four or five steps ahead of the game of life in general. You're very good at strategizing. You're also very good at using your intuition and building a plan to have a backup plan and then a backup plan for the other plan. So you're always prepared for every eventuality. So in terms of world circumstances, because we all have to be very aware of what's going on with inflation rising and you know the cost of living rising, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like you're working really hard to put yourself in a position to ride out a storm. And I feel you have not got the, the tower energy because I feel intuitively you've seen the changes happening and you're very, very savvy, you're very intelligent and you prioritize. So I feel like you're actually putting yourself in a really good position to um, use changes to your advantage and be really flexible and move forward, okay? Now on a more localized level for you, the first card we got is the one who nurtures. So this month is all about you. I mean, literally, it is all about you. This is your month, um, Virgo season. So you will be focusing a little bit more, and not in a selfish way, but you're going to be focusing more about who you are, identifying who you're becoming. Um, but it's also about kicking back and relaxing and enjoying who you are to date, let's put it that way. Because we're always evolving as a, a consciousness, but also as a person, we're always evolving and um, cultivating our world. So I feel like you're looking at your accomplishments, all the successes that you've had, um, the, 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 the situations that perhaps did not go in your favor as well. It's not that I feel you're making it a sum of all your experiences accounting to who you are or adding up to who you are but I feel like you may be looking at situations that perhaps you felt were not under your control or didn't work out and I feel like you are releasing them 
okay? You're not beating yourself up about those situations. You're like, oh, I'm chalking it up to experience. Let's move on. Let's, it's in the past. This is a big month for you to start again because that first house is activated. You're starting from the sense of self and then you're moving forward. Um, it says empathy, gentleness, insight. So there's a lot of inward thinking going on, a lot of personal growth, a lot of spirituality and philosophy going on in your waking life in the month of September. So quite a deep energy uh, to be going on with there. Uh, your crown chakra is activated, so there is a knowingness and intuitiveness about you. A lot of psychic flashes or uh, hunches that are going to occur in the month of September. And I actually see you taking a leap of faith in your life, some sort of big, either a, you know, you're taking a chance on a new path or you're opening yourself up to a new adventure. There is definitely radical change happening for you in the month of September. So whether it is a new idea that you've got and you're like activating a new project or perhaps you've got a new plan or you're, you're, you're deciding to move, relocate in some way, um, I feel like you're starting afresh. Some of you may be looking at setting up your own business. I mean, you've got one, two kings here, okay? So, I mean, it could be partnerships, uh, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. Some of you may, may decide to set up your own business or be an entrepreneur or set up a partnership with somebody that you really trust. You're taking the initiative to make changes in your life that will be financially secure um, and you know, you're making really good decisions. Um, I really feel like you're tapping into your inner knowing to move forward on something. Um, it's so interesting because they were asking me to really look at the cards you've got. And the first card here, we've got intuition, high priestess. Now Virgo, you're showing up heavily in your reading. This is you literally opening your reading. So uh, opening your reading. So this is the you know Virgo first house self identity and you've got a keyhole there, right? So it's almost like unlocking the mysteries of the universe, unlocking the mysteries within yourself. This is your inner knowing. But I feel like either there's something here that you um, have accomplished so far and you're keeping it to yourself, you're being very secretive. Uh, there's an energy as well of wanting to go off grid or wanting to sort of like say, say nothing about a situation. You're keeping something to yourself. This is a card of silence. Okay, a gestation period where you're contemplating, but it's also a card of having faith and knowing that you have a lot of knowledge. You're very intuitive, but also most importantly, my beautiful Virgo, you're very well read, you're very intelligent. Okay, so I feel like you're using that wisdom that you have to unlock your destiny or unlock an opportunity for you. They want you to be aware that not only have you got the, the keyhole, but you've got the key. So you're unlocking something and you're moving forward. If you felt there was some sort of blockage in your life recently, I feel like you're moving past an obstacle and you're taking the initiative to use your, your inner knowing. It's almost like if you know you will be successful, then it shall be so. But if you know that you have met an obstacle and you feel like you cannot overcome it, then also you are right because you, you, you lose the motivation or the drive to move past something if you feel like you can't do it. You're the sort of person, Virgo, that has a can-do attitude. That's what they're giving me. And I feel like you are connecting to your intuition, but also um, to trusting your inner knowing, your visions, but also connecting to higher source, meditation, that sort of thing. It's almost like, because I get this energy where you're looking at the world right now, it's a crazy place. Nothing seems to be logical. Okay, I just get that energy from you. And maybe that's how you're feeling at the moment. You're like, nothing makes sense anymore. So I don't even know why I'm like looking outwards for answers. I'm gonna go inwards because I trust my own inner knowing rather than the outward circumstances right now. So I really feel like you're relying on yourself heavily as you move throughout uh, September. But you're in command. They are giving me this energy of you are in command, okay? So a lot more creative as well. You're very talented. You've got skills. You've actually got a hidden talent as well that you haven't really tapped into. Now, whether this is your spiritual gifts 
or this is a real talent for finances. There could be a new job opportunity that comes your way that actually a contract is presented to you. Uh, it brings more money, but it also brings more freedom. Uh, something you're passionate about, uh, something that you're going to achieve. It brings a lot of interesting energy, a lot of interesting people into your life. Something you've waited for for a long time. You're getting the thumbs up or the go ahead from the universe. And it's actually going to bring a lot of balance, harmony to your life. It's a wonderful new start. You're unstoppable, okay? I get this energy determined, determined for a new adventure or determined to take a new step in another direction. So for example, if you work in a certain area and you are like really happy where you're at, because I don't feel like you're unhappy where you're at, but I feel like you're taking the natural next step. And I feel like it could be that you're um, moving up to a promotion or you've got your eye on having more money, a raise. I mean, the King of Pentacles indicates there is more money available to you. You've got more abundance headed towards you, but you may have felt that something isn't working right now. Uh, the King of Pentacles in this position is like some, you keep trying to push forward or you're trying to move forward, but something just isn't working at this moment in time. I feel by the end of September, you'll see that everything was meant to work in divine timing uh, and you're actually pushing past a roadblock. Uh, the King of Wands is someone who takes the initiative, someone who is bold, someone who's courageous. You've got a lot of leadership energy within you. You are naturally meant to lead, but this is motion forward. This is marching to the beat of your own drum, being very independent. So there's definitely a yearning for independence here, a yearning for life to be a little bit more exciting yearning to use your experience and your smarts and cultivate it into something that can yield financially or it doesn't always have to be financial but tangible results i just get this energy of you wanting tangible results to know that your energy is being filtered into something that makes a difference to make an impact so whether you're actually in a job or you're looking for a job or you're retired it doesn't matter i feel it's more about using your energy to make a difference in your world and make a difference in other people's worlds as well. I feel like you are, yeah, moving forward, motivated, being bold, okay? Um, now, some of you may actually be looking at going into real estate or thinking about moving home because I get this energy of moving or travel. It could be travel. It doesn't have to be relocation. But I also get this energy of where do I belong? So this may be a very big philosophical question for you. So you may be, if you work in an office, for example, you may be like, okay, do I belong in, with this group of people? Are there cliques? Do I feel like I fit in? Um, is this me reaching my potential? And if it's not, then there's a new journey on the horizon because the full card here represents new beginnings. So it could be a new beginning of energy where suddenly you feel you've got lots of uh, motivation, you've got lots of ideas, lots of inspiration, and you're applying those things to the skills that you've already got and to the situation you're already in. But if you feel like you're not fulfilling your potential in some area of your life, I definitely see you taking um, like a leap of faith into something new that actually uh, brings a lot of success and a lot of reward, okay? But this is like a desire for life to get interesting again or, you know, the search for meaning, but also the search for having fun and using the skills that you already have in order to make life a little bit more enjoyable. Yeah, I get this energy of enjoyable. I mean, you've got the star energy. So whatever it is that you're working on or career oriented, that focus is going to put you in the spotlight. The star is like, you know, you being recognized for all the effort that you put in. You know, I feel like there's a lot of productivity in your world in the month of September, but also a lot of talent. So I feel like you're being noticed for your gifts, your skills, and also most importantly, you're being appreciated. They want you to be aware. Um, you are normally appreciated, but you may not feel it sometimes because you're always in an energy of giving. Okay, so I would be mindful if you keep giving to a situation and you feel like you're not getting anything back, then that's time to really reassess. And it's not about giving to a situation so that you can get something back. You know when you feel like you're in good energy. That's with people, at jobs, you know, in situations. Intuitively, you can feel when you're just in the flow. And if you feel like you're just 
outpouring and outsourcing, over giving or investing in things that you feel are just not leading to the rewards that you're hoping for, then it's time to readjust. The star energy, um, you may also be going through a period of healing. You're, you're, you may feel compelled to seek healing or a counselor in somewhere in some area of your life or perhaps you're learning a little bit more about yourself online with um, self-help videos or you're just learning more about the human psyche the star energy is a wish a hope okay but it's also about being a visionary and that's who you are to be having these two cards it's like you are a visionary you are someone who can use your energy to change your circumstances and stand out from the crowd but that's not a natural sort of state that you want to be in you're always the sort of person my beautiful virgo you're the power behind the throne okay so uh, you don't always seek the limelight you don't always want to be like look at me i'm in control look at me i'm successful you don't operate that way you allow your talent to speak for itself so i actually feel because it's your month as well you're kind of being in the spotlight and it may feel a little bit uncomfortable but actually it works out in your favor okay i also see people in authority uh, positions noticing you and your gifts and your talents and elevating you okay um, i also feel with this card um there's a lot of farsightedness you looking to the future for what you want to achieve and sort of being motivated to take a step in the right direction you're not settling that's what i feel you're not settling and you're uh, being very creative a little bit more uh, creative and there's they keep giving me that there's a talent or something that you haven't really tapped into yet i mean it could be a creative talent they're showing me it could make you a lot of money if you take that leap of faith and believe in yourself okay so if you've got a little hunch sitting there on your shoulders it's like you know you could set up your own business or you know you want to have a second stream of income or you're really talented at life drawing or you're really talented at being a people person whatever it is that you feel naturally gifted at but you haven't explored yet it's time to explore it in the month of September so I feel like you'll be picking up that paintbrush or picking up that pen and going you know what I'm just gonna do it see where it goes free wheeling is this energy I keep getting now it says here the one who questions curiosity destiny search so some of you I mean it's got cause and effect here which is the Libra card of justice so I feel you're looking at things that are not fair in life you may be looking at things that are like okay why does this happen if the law of attraction works for some people but not for others why is that so why do good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people this is a very deep reading my beautiful Virgo so I feel that you are in a cycle of philosophical questioning at the moment um, looking at the world in a broader sense where it's like this is a crazy world why are some of these things happening and how can I make sense of it so the only thing I feel like for you is like how do I balance and and recalibrate my energy so that I don't absorb negative energy and I keep trying to be positive and move forward because there's moments of doubt moments of like feeling like something's not working and it's not fair because you put a lot of effort into it so I feel all your commitment to prosperity is actually going to yield results but you may have felt things are like on pause right now that's all about to change we've got a big unlocking energy happening for you in the month of September um, it says destiny search so some of you may be like asking do I belong here in this situation and if I don't how do I change my circumstances to feel a little bit more connected to something that I do so I actually feel like it's almost like judgment energy where you're connecting to your true prosperity your true calling and you're wanting to flourish and thrive but you're asking the bigger questions of life now also I see an opportunity in some area of your life where you're going to be presented with a contract so whether this is a contract to do with work or to, to do with a purchase I would pay close attention especially if there's a lot of money involved I would pay close attention to that contract because we've got the justice card in this position it can mean that there's some sort of dispute or um, 
lack of accountability after you've signed something. So just watch out for that, my beautiful Virgos. Um, now also there could be someone here who, um, wants to partner up with you or I don't know, how can I feel? It's almost like if someone asks you for money, I mean, of course, if it's a family member and you love them and you, you want to help them out, of course, go for it. But I just get this energy. If someone is asking you for money and you feel like it's a little bit weird or a little bit, something feels off, you know, when you get those like weird phone calls or like, you know what, um, if you've been involved in this, you could have compensation or um, you've won this or won that. I would just watch out for that. I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. So they just want you to be mindful. You know, don't give your details to any of these scammers or anything like that. If some sort of bank calls you or something like that, you know, just out of the blue and is like, could you confirm all these details? And you're like, no, I'm going to actually hang up and call my actual bank. So just be mindful. I don't know why it's just coming through. So I got to mention it when it's coming through. Okay. Um, now I also feel like there's, you're curious about a new path or curious about a new idea or a new focus. Cause I get a refocus here in the month of September for you. Um, the full card tends to be a curiosity card as well, especially since you've got this something that perhaps you haven't explored yet, but it's been, weighing on your mind. So I feel like you actually turn something around. I mean, you, you're going to see a lot of stars. They keep showing me loads of stars in the water. Now stars kind of amplify inspiration, but also opportunity, a wish. So I feel like a wish is being granted. It's a very positive energy. I feel like you're in a new phase of life where you're embracing new ideas. There's personal growth here. You know what? That's so weird. They're, they're also showing me. Okay. Uh, they're showing me the hangman in the water. Now you do have the hangman here, surrender. Um, but they're showing me the hangman in the water because they're, it's like you may have to sacrifice something in order to embrace something else, but you may have been in a period of limbo questioning, wondering, is there a better way? There's gotta be a better way. You're going to find that better way in September. I hope this makes sense to you because right now it feels a little bit like convoluted energy. I'm not sure I understand it, but it may mean something to you. You're finding a better way of doing something that benefits you. Okay. And the thing that was weird in the water is that uh, they showed me an image of a piece of paper. It looks like a, a, a post-it note or a sticky note. It moves all by itself. So it's almost like either you have written yourself a note on a post-it and you just notice it just move flick by itself and you're like oh that was weird um it's a reminder to do that thing i mean post-it notes tend to be a reminder so not unless you come back to your desk at lunch after lunch or something and someone's put a post-it note on your desk they're just showing me a post-it note a sticky note being stuck on somewhere and it just moves and you didn't move it and you it almost grabs your attention so I feel like it's something that you're being reminded of and, and you, yeah, you know, I'm going to have to disconnect from that energy. It doesn't go any further for me. So I don't really know what it's trying to tell me. I'll always be honest and say, I can't quite grasp what they're trying to give me. So I'm, it's obviously very precise. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave that one there. I don't know why they're giving me that. Now we've got the cause and effect. Now this is basically the justice card, which means the energy that you put into something, naturally, we should get the benefit or the reward out. But you may have been feeling that that's not how life has been working for you at the moment. You may have felt like you've been in a bit of a maze where every time you move forward, you've come up against a brick wall. And it's not fair because you really put in a lot of work. Okay. Um, when you get it in this position, we've got it in the reverse. So this is the reversal position. So I feel like something that perhaps has not been going in your favor, or perhaps you've been going through some sort of legal dispute or a dispute already, it works itself out by the end of the month. You're finding a solution. Okay. As long as you lead with integrity and honesty, it goes in your favor. That is what they're showing me. Also listen to your intuition. If you've been feeling that you've had a bit of a, cause they're showing me a lot of, 
mental anxiety. Your, your, your mind has been worrying. You've been going through a lot of, um, it's almost like your brain is exhausted. They're saying, make sure you get some rest. Don't burn yourself out. Uh, I'm going to pull a card on this. Uh, they're indicating music is going to be very soothing for you as you move throughout September to keep yourself balanced. Okay, so connect to your favorite song, connect to um, something that's going to help you find peace of mind. Because they're showing me there's loads of movement at the end of September. It's almost like you're regrouping your energy in order for a big change. So whether it is you're leaving a job, you're surrendering a position somewhere to get something better, or you're relocating in terms of the home space, this is a card of getting what you truly deserve and desire. The King of Pentacles in this position, at the beginning of the month, it's like it shows up in the reverse. So something hasn't quite been working. Um, especially with this card here, the Temperance card, it's like something's out of balance or you feel like something's just off center. By the end of the month, everything gets shifted in the positive for you. So if you've been worried about money or you feel like things are like financially getting out of control, I mean, we all feel that. Um, in terms of world events, um, inflation's going up, price of living's going up. So you may feel like this crazy world and you're worried about finances. But know that you are making really good financial decisions and it's about moderating and, and balance. So I feel like you're being a bit more discerning about the money that you're spending. You're perhaps cutting back in some areas. I mean, that's an obvious thing to say because we're all pretty much doing that, of course. But the King of Pentacles indicates you're attracting more wealth. You're enterprising. You're, um, you know, your ability to attract abundance is increasing as you move throughout the month. So some of you may set up a side hustle, a second stream of income, or you actually use a talent or a gift that you're not quite using in order to bring more money in. But it can also be that, um, for example, something you've already put in motion is going to yield results. So, I mean, to go from king to king energy, I actually feel like there could be some sort of job move that or opportunity to move where it feels like you are on a level you're stepping up a little bit, but you're on a level where you're actually just securing your position, putting yourself in a really good position to weather any changes or any underhanded energy. So if you feel like there, are, I mean, you got the death card here, which is radical change, new start. So I feel like you're securing your position and attracting more wealth. Some of you may be going into real estate or actually trying to sell a house or move house, maybe get a new one here. I actually feel like you're manifesting an opportunity um, and you're, I feel like your ambition is returning as well. So if you've been feeling a little bit unmotivated or just not yourself recently, you're actually going to turn a page and, and get more energy. You're conserving your energy. They just said you're conserving your energy and using it for practical matters. Now, I do see a lot of paperwork and administration and things like that going on. So perhaps you're setting up your own business. Uh, they showed me like contracts and things. Uh, I definitely feel like paperwork, which sounds so humdrum and boring, but of course it's, it's important. I feel like you're paying close attention to your responsibilities, but this is a card of being a good business person. So a lot of your focus is on your intention to create financial security. Now, of course, I mean, there could be love. If you're looking for love, there's a potential for um, you meeting love, but I feel like it comes towards the end of the month and it starts off as a bit of a fling at first, okay? So I, I feel like you're not really, your main focus for the month really isn't love. That's what I'm picking up on, okay? We've got the temperance card, so a little bit of impatience to move forward, especially if you've hit a, a blockage. But when you get this card, I feel like you're blending energies, especially when you've got the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. You're using your talents, you're finding your purpose, you're in the flow, and you're going to meet uh, people where you have meaningful encounters that can help you in business, but most importantly, on your path. So even if you're retired or you currently don't have a job and you're looking for one, you're going to find that you're going to um, have encounters that benefit you long-term. 
Also, this card is avoiding excess. So avoiding overspending, over, uh, avoiding, um, you know, giving too much of your energy to situations that you feel are robbing you like energy vampires. I feel, you know, it all helps you streamline and become ready for the next stage. I, I just feel like you're preparing yourself for the next stage. So whether that's um, a new start, I mean, all these cards are new starts and there's a divine intervention here as well. So some really good luck headed your way that brings a financial reward at the end of it. Um, I feel... Sorry, they're just giving me a song right now, which is really like... Um distracting me I just want to connect to those oh wow it's quite an quite an intense song I've not heard this song before um okay it's like bounce bounce back bounce bounce back bounce back try and keep me down but I gosh I didn't get that last bit Try and keep me down, but it ain't gonna last. That's what it said. Try and keep me down, but it ain't gonna last. Bounce, the bounce back, bounce. Okay, so it just keeps going on a loop now. Wow, that's really, that's quite an intense song. Um, I don't know who sings that song, um, but this is connected to this pile. So if there's someone in your world who has not been supportive of your, your goals, there's a bit of jealousy going on here. So if they try to keep you back in some way, I mean, it could be that there is um, competition for an opportunity somewhere and you feel like someone is underhandedly. Uh, I mean, the justice card in this position can indicate some sort of underhanded behavior. That's why I guess coming up with um, watch watch your money, okay, is what I, I'm, I'm seeing. Because I feel like you're protecting your money, you're putting yourself in a really good position. or But there could be some sort of competition for an opportunity and someone in your world may try to win at all costs so i would watch out for that but the song said you know bounce back um if this person's gonna let, uh, keep you down it's not gonna last or something like that uh, they're not playing the song anymore but if i remember the lyrics it's something like that um so you're bouncing back I mean, that song could be relevant because you may not, you may know what that song is, or you may hear that song on the radio and it si signifies you making a comeback or you're returning to the version of yourself that you enjoy because we, we're all different versions of ourselves at different points in our life. So I, I feel like you're investing in yourself very heavily, especially that King of Pentacles is earth energy. Even though it's a Taurian energy, I feel like it's about you grounding yourself and coming back to um, your center but I would watch out for anyone who doesn't really support your dreams or if you've got like a frenemy if they always sort of revel in the fact that things may go wrong or anything like that just watch out for that so I'm going to leave that there that's a negative energy that's just coming through uh, we have the one who flies this is the outcome so daring do reach it says at the bottom dare do reach so you're elevating you're daring to do something differently you're being bold you're being that visionary and i feel like you're marching on forward to make a, a radical change in your world now this radical change can be anything from a diet you know you're sticking to a diet and you're changing the way you feel about yourself your self-image could also be um exercise you're getting healthier could also be that you know you're changing your career path or a sector I definitely feel like you're on the road to success you're on the right path and but something is over as you can see like it's almost like this creature here it's like it's starting to fade but you know right here we got that wonderful those wonderful feathers so it's almost like knowing that something is over and moving forward and thriving because that knowingness is taking you other places. I feel like you're going places. That's what I feel here. Um, the surrender card is like open yourself to, oh yeah, we got a maze there. So I, I definitely feel like, I'm just going to let that siren go past. Do apologize. Someone once told me that um, whenever you hear a siren, it is 
Archangel Michael coming to your aid. So if you're going through any difficulties, know that they will be resolved by the middle of September there for you. Um, the Surrender card, it's almost like you're in search of the star. Now the star is all about inspiration, but also about, you know, enjoying yourself, um, having hope, in search of hope there. And you see the Surrender card, this figure has got a star there as well. So it's like the maze, using your gut instinct, because the, the maze is over the gut instinct. So it's about using your intuition to take you to where you want to go and find the star. So I feel like whatever you're searching for, because the, the, the star is like, maybe something's missing and you're finding clarity, you're in search of insight and, and light, and you're going to find it. But I feel like you've come up against some brick walls in your life. Any disappointments that we've all experienced are silver linings because they actually um, sort of protect you and redirect you in another direction that is actually for your highest good. So it may cause a temporary discomfort, but it will pass and you will look back and realize why some things were just not meant to be because something greater is on its way for you, okay? Um, now they really are indicating you're gonna see like a bunch of stars. Now. This could be the, because they're showing me like a bunch of stars right now. It's almost like, you know, if someone has like loads of glitter stars and there, someone's dropped them, they're scattered all over the, the sidewalk. There's like loads of stars. So either you're going to come across loads of stars or a pattern or a billboard that's got loads of stars on it. Um, it may mean that you're becoming a little bit more interested in astronomy. Um, I'm trying to... I'm trying to decode. I mean, all the stars, I'll give you the meaning of the stars. So this, I feel like this is a symbol for you to look out for. You're just going to notice a lot more stars in the next couple of weeks. And there's an opportunity headed your way that brings a lot more excitement into your world. Okay. I see you rising up. Trust your visions. Know that you're on the right path and your dreams are becoming a reality. They want you to be aware of that. Okay. Surrender to the process. This is a card of, you know, perspective, but it's also a card of when things are not happening and there's been a time for inaction, it's a time for us to reflect and use that time to really search for meaning and purpose. It is not a wasted time. It gives us an opportunity to pause, reevaluate, and know that whatever pause you've been experiencing, it's for a reason because things are about to get a little bit fast in your world. You're going to move faster. We've got the beginnings card, which is the full card. So new opportunities opening up to you. Uh, the full card is also about having fun, that playful spirit, reigniting that fun part of yourself, especially if you've been feeling that you've had a lot of responsibility, you've been doing a lot of healing, the world has been an unkind place in some areas of your life. I feel like you're really awakening to your divine nature and sort of like forgiving the past in order to embrace a brand new you. It's almost like you get a restart, okay? And you're unlocking something, unlocking your, they just said sitting with your emotions. So sitting with your emotions and being okay with how you feel in this moment. If you've struggled with emotions in the past, I feel like you're coming into some sort of recalibration. Um, now the full card is also about having faith. So have faith in the pause. Have faith that there is divine timing because the Wheel of Fortune tells you that she's showing up to bring you good fortune now. This is a turning moment. It's almost like you're turning a page and we all go through cycles. It's a reminder that while sometimes we go through good periods, we also go through negative periods. So sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down and it's about how you approach that wave. It's about riding the wave, I guess. So I feel like you're putting yourself in a really good position and um, I just get this real search for understanding how things work. I feel like the law of attraction is starting to work for you in a really positive way. Even if you are trying it on a really small scale, like for example, if you're at the traffic lights and you're like, okay, um, dear universe, Dear Abundant Universe, thank you for changing the lights. I'm in a bit of a rush today. If you could make it go green, it would be great. They're just showing me like you testing 
on a small scale the law of attraction and it's starting to work and then you're amping yourself up to ask for bigger and better things. The law of attraction, the universe is actually an abundant universe, but we have to realize that we have to believe we have it already. Not that it's something in the future, something that we're existing in the moment and attach a feeling of positivity to it. It's powerful change and it's about time you had some good luck is what they're showing me with this card. So there's a real shift here. A wish come true, <clears throat> your destiny becomes uh, clear for you. I see a real opportunity for more money as we close out the month. Even if you've been struggling, I feel like you're finding a solution to um, an issue and it gets resolved. The Knight of Wands is a card of going after a new adventure or a dream, being innovative and being independent. Some of you, if you work for a company, you may decide to set up your own business and be an independent trader a trader or something like that. So I feel like your visions, your goals are manifesting in many forms. Trust that you're on the right path. Also, this card is like energy rising up within you to do something daring. You literally got the card of daring and doing and reaching for something greater, something better. And as you can see, this knight is literally jumping through a ring of fire. You're making the impossible possible. And with this card, I feel like things are gaining momentum. I feel like you are exploring your options. Some of you may even travel. Some of you may take yourself away for a little break for your birthday or a little vacation, but some of you may be, you know, trying to do a job where you travel, see a little bit more of the world, or just open yourself up to something that's more interesting that connects to your passion. You don't want to be connected to that humdrum, like boring life cycle. You're, you're searching for more meaning in life. And I feel like you're finding it. Okay. Now, also, this is a card of being unstoppable, making your dreams come true, making them a reality and really making positive lifestyle changes where you can flourish. So some of you are going to be looking at building healthier routines, friendships in your life, where you're like not giving to situations that rob you of energy without reward, um, not staying in stagnant or dead situations that you feel um, don't help you evolve. You're reminded that in order to embrace something new, you're shedding something that's old. A lot of you are going to be looking at bad habits and saying, you know what? I'm going to change that because I know that if I eat that gluten, then I'm going to feel really bad about myself or I'm going to fluctuate in weight or it's really bad for my health. I know that if I spend too much money, then perhaps I will not have that money for that bill that's coming on in at the end of the month. So I feel like you're looking at habits in this month as well and restructuring your world to make things easier on you and you're going to leave the month really proud of yourself is what they're showing me so i see a lot of change i mean the, the latter part of the month you're doing something differently and it's going to bring positive change into your world as well as bringing you some finances now i'm just going to get some final cards for you thank you so much spirit guides great angels can you please guide my beautiful virgo what do they need to know now, some of you may be partnering up in business. I would make sure you go over that contract. Just to let you know, I'm only picking the uprights in this deck, just so you're aware. Three of Wands, if you're asking the question, are you on the right path? The answer is yes. That Three of Wands is a card of planning, structuring. We've got the Knight of Cups. An offer is coming on in here for you. One that connects to your heart space. One that perhaps you've been longing for for a while or dreaming of for a while. And we got the World card. The world is your oyster. When you get the world card, it indicates um, a goal being accomplished, success, abundance, things coming full circle, you being in the right moment, the right opportunity, the right period in your life to accept abundance. The Three of Wands is a card of expansion. So it's about waiting for the right moment to capitalize on an opportunity. But it can also mean that when there is a delay, you apply yourself Pay attention and try to observe the right moment to capitalize on a situation. So I feel like you're paying attention, you're observing, waiting for opportunity. And the sea is golden, so there will be an opportunity that comes towards you. There is an offer coming on in. Now, the Knight of Cups at its grassroots is about 
loving yourself so that you can see your value and your worth and then attracting an opportunity that comes your way that you truly deserve. You're going places. As you can see, the water is like a stream and you know, you're headed in a direction. You're, you are headed in a direction that you've been trying to get towards for the last, I don't know however, but there's been a pause. Um, the Knight of Cups can also be about love love coming on in, an opportunity to change. But as I said, it starts off as a bit of a fling first. It doesn't become serious until a little bit later. So just know that that is what's happening for you. Now you may also even have a choice. So um, look out for that. Also, I feel like you're really seeing what you have to offer life and you are realizing that you are a gift. And I'm not blowing smoke up your you-know-what. I feel like you are rediscovering talents. You're finding a new talent that you've got as well. But I also see that you're applying your strengths to a situation to change your circumstances and bring a lot of um, positive things into your life. But also, luck is meeting you halfway. It's almost like um, preparation is half the battle. So yeah, I feel like you're prepared for this success. Um, the world card is accomplishment of a goal, but it can also be like you coming full circle, your commitment, your drive, the rewards are being seen on the physical plane. Now, I don't know if you heard that. I'm going to listen on the camera, but there was um, a voice that just came out just now. It almost, I don't know what it said. Um, it came, it was almost like someone like ah, saying something. I don't know what that was. Um, I'm going to have to listen back to see if I could hear the voice. So perhaps, and I'm going to pull a quick card on it. Perhaps you're going to be told a secret. I don't know why that's coming through. It's like someone whispering in your ear. So I'm just going to quickly pull a card on that. That energy just came through just now. I hope it got caught on camera. I love it when it does. Three of Swords. So being told a secret, perhaps. Perhaps you're seeing someone in a new light. Or you're, you're hearing some gossip about someone that um, you have difficulty believing, but it, it, and it saddens you. Ace of Cups. It's being gifted to you for a reason. Someone is being is telling you. I feel like it's a benefit to you to know this secret. Um, now the Three of Swords with the Ace of Cups also means after difficulty there are good times. Uh, after adversity comes abundance. So I feel like if you've been struggling, my beautiful Virgo, know that there is a better time ahead for you, okay? Um, also, there is love coming on in if you're looking for uh, love. But as I said, it, it, it's a frisson, like a, it's a fling first, or it feels very much like a um, passionate encounter first, and it starts to uh, morph into something other. Um, the world card is about coming into balance and being victorious. We've got the victory read there. So I feel like accomplishing a goal, but also travel. Some of you may be thinking about relocating. There's a lot of movement in your chart in September. And I feel like they give me the word victory in the water right now, victory. So, I mean, there's some really great news headed your way, but I feel like you've struggled to get to this point or there's been a real difficult period. You've been wrestling with something and um, I feel like you see the way. You, you're being shown the way. Um, we have giraffe visionary. So yeah, that is to see clearly. Uh, you know, most animals and, and humans are on a certain level. You know, we are um, not the tallest of creatures in the world. The the giraffe is one that has that long neck that can see ahead. And that's what you are. You're seeing ahead. You're using your skills to put yourself in a really good position. Uh, and it says here, rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. So I feel the heart space is important. It's like the inner workings of the heart. You're asking the big questions like the why, the wherefores, but divine timing brings you opportunity and I feel like you're ready to capitalize on it. Okay, so um, self-worth is important, but you're going to get that energy from your first house. I'm just going to get some runes before we close. Oh, we got three there. 
Okay, so the first one we got is wood. This is, yeah, the wood rune. And this is about energy. So energy returning, feeling a little bit more um, connected to the everyday. You're in the flow of doing, being productive. This is also a rune of knowledge um, and positivity. So it's like with a positive mindset, you can accomplish anything. Because we find the motivation to do things. When we've got a negative um, energy, then we lose the motivation to want to do anything. We feel defeated or we feel it's difficult. You know, we all crave a duvet day sometimes or even worse, we feel like, you know, we're like wondering, why am I still doing this? I don't enjoy doing this anymore. This job or this situation, this relationship. So we have to um, take ourselves and our energies in each moment that we find ourselves and be okay with that be comfortable with those messy emotions because that's human nature and i feel like that's some of the questions that you've been coming up with it's almost like why is there a positive and a negative why is i just feel like there's really big philosophical questions here we've also got the sun so this is about victory this is about clear vision clear sightedness achievement accomplishment and being in the flow towards abundance and finally we have Human. Okay, this is the, the rune that connects to the self. So big philosophical questions. This is about you being thoughtful, thinking about altruism as well, especially since you got that King of Pentacles. You're someone who's very generous. You have a beautiful heart. Okay, you always want to help people. You always like, I know it seems like a cliche, Virgos, you know, all they say Virgos are always of service, but you're not a doormat. You don't go around helping loads of people and letting them take advantage of you. You're really great hearted. You've got a beautiful, pure heart and you are going to be rewarded for the good things that you're doing. But I feel like you're more connected to the human psyche this month, thinking about why humans do certain things or why the world is in a certain way. And remember, you're a human being. You're not just a human doing, okay? A human being. So I feel like you're going to sit with that contemplation energy. Uh, that's why I feel that part of you wants to go into that hermit mode, to be introspective. So um, really positive month. And I feel like you're, you know, balancing things out, all things in moderation. You're very modest, they just said. They want you to be um, more confident in your abilities. So that's just come in there as well. So I'll leave that there, my beautiful Virgo. I hope something resonates in that reading. It was quite complex. The readings the last couple of days have been very sort of like staccato um, because of the energy. When Uranus is playing up, I find it very, very difficult to read. And I actually did three readings yesterday, yours, Libra and Sag, and I had to just scrap those ones because the energy was just going nowhere. So it's a bit more of an easier energy today, but I mean, it's still a little bit like bumpy. So I read on energy. I'll leave it there. I hope something does resonate though. And if it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo. Love and light.